Hey guys, so I'm just uploading the uh, top 10 speed video and I figured while I do that I record the top, you know, the top 10 explanation because I feel like that's necessary for, for some of these because this was a tough list to do. It seems like they're getting harder and harder just because the characters are so good. Um, 10, I chose Holly Bell. There was actually a very, it was a big contest for 10 for some of these characters but yeah i chose holly bell because while she's an older character she's a seasonal character you know uh she's still very much relevant her stats may not be all that high her defense is pretty good her, her other stats are might not you know they're not as high as they could be but she still has a monopoly on the disabler ability she's got a good killer she's got a good uh link increasingly good it's, it's been very popular lately it feels like caleb's been doing a lot more with it um and of course her freezing disabler combo is amazing especially now because she has uh, a lot of characters are starting to get um strong attacks with a mag of 160 and uh you know sometimes to take full advantage of that a character needs to be frozen or stunned so they don't get knocked down and they take the full ability so she's good for support for characters who have that or if you have a team member in if you're soloing if you have a team member that has that like uh, if, you, if you take one um on the, on the mission um so yeah that's why i chose her 10 jushiro was an interesting one because he is starting to get not starting to after the update happened i guess his mags got fixed He's got a pretty good SP, and he's got Frenzy, and his mags got fixed, which means his attacks now do, his strong attacks now do a lot more damage, um, which is nice. I actually tried him out earlier at 150, and he was doing a lot of damage, so I will definitely rewind him sooner or later, but yeah, that's that's why he made it this far. Um, <laughs> Ichigo, uh, there was actually some discussion about whether Ichigo would have even made it on the top 10 at all. I was going all in for it, and at the end I decided to put him in here because his attack's really high. He's got the uh, soul trait um, that even that boosts his attack even higher. Granted, his bruiser isn't that great, but his nad reach and his speed is really impressive. His killer is kind of pointless these days just because he's not really a viable option for PvP, and I did take PvP into consideration, um, but he still has a 50 Berserker, which is, you know, with his SP, it kind of kind of makes him still good for an SP build, although I wouldn't recommend it. But still, you know, still good. And he's got Bombardment with his specialist. You know, it's pretty good. So that's why I put him up here, just because of his ridiculously high attack. And that's why he is the way he is, which is incredible, because I think last time he placed at number 3. So to be at number 8 is a significant jump. Um, next, I did Retsu, just because SP right now, SP characters with Frenzy are kind of taking over the meta right now. That's what is mostly seen in PvP. Um, and she's got... This killer is, like, the best killer to have. Granted, obviously, you know, a lot of people don't have... A lot of characters don't have uh, two killers. She does. Um, and this is the best possible combination to have. Not just for PvP, but also for PvE. Which, she is more of a PvE character because of her link. Um, she's kind of useless in PvP. And her strong attack too, which is a vortex move, is also useless in PvP because, I mean, it's not really. It's, while it's going to do some damage, most PvP uh, rounds are over pretty quickly. So, yeah, it's not really useful for her to be in PvP. But, yeah, uh, everything else though is great. It's boosted soul trait. She's got long reach. She's got frenzy, which is great. And her attack's pretty good. It's kind of a, uh, recently a lot of uh, high SP characters have been having this attack like 620 630 kind of in that range um but yeah that's why she went there i put sun sun above her because even though her sp is a little bit lower she does have the strong attack damage link and it's a boosted strong attack damage link which is nice um her defense is a little bit lower just three points not that much uh but she's ranged and she has poison on everything and she doesn't have debilitator which sucks um but yeah it was kind of a uh you know, between this and this, which one would be higher? I kind of chose this one just because of the poison and the vortex. Also, not a PvP character, but you know, still good. Yeah, 
still good. All right. Um, then I just, okay. From here, it gets a little crazy because these characters, ah, man, I feel like it started with this gacha. They kind of got a little out of hand. Um, but yeah, he's got the Natalik of 25, boosted 25. A lot of these guys had a boosted, um, boosted soul traits, but 743, ridiculously high, gets even better with the 25 uh nad link and then they gave him a plus 40 bruiser and on top of all that he does poison in fact it's a good thing they didn't give him a wrong car killer because then he just, it's just too much damage <laughs> um yeah hollow killers aren't as great as they used to be um they're still useful it's just that with bosses and everything um they're really not useful in pvp or in a lot of raids because not like the only actual characters that have a hollow affiliation are the visors and I guess Ichigo. Ichigo's the visor, the full hollow Ichigo. I guess he has a uh, he is a visor, I guess, so it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, he has this was actually for me. He, I don't know, he could have placed higher this guy, but um, because of this right here. But the reason I put him before the rest of these guys is because uh. While this is very useful, it does take 40 seconds to recharge. And while you can reduce that, reducing it would actually cost you some damage, you know, that you can deal. So that's why I did it. Um, still a crazy, crazy strong character. Um, then I did Ichigo. This, Like I said, Xyloporo and Ichigo were kind of like on par for me when I was thinking this through. Um, and there's that similar attack again uh but the reason i chose him is because like i said strong attacks are kind of taking over the meta he also has a boosted strong attacks trait his uh his killer is better um yeah his killer is better he's also got a plus 40 bruiser which does does come in handy but really it's because of the frenzy strong attack three it's like, it's like having a special level strong attack every 24 seconds it's it's crazy. It's crazy the amount of damage this guy can dish out. So that's that's why I put him here. Um, then I put Kenny. When Ichigo first came out, it was kind of like, oh, who's better, Ichigo or Kenny? Ichigo or Kenny? Because I remember I did uh, the blue one like a week before Kenny came out. So a lot of people asked me, oh hey, you know, who's better? Because it was like literally a week afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd still say Kenny's a little bit better. Just because I did take in PvP into this list. And he wins. Like, Ichigo's good. He's good in PvP. He's alright. But, uh, this guy takes the cake. <laughs> Just because, like, they're both also good in PvE. That's why I did it. Um, I think Ichigo's better in PvE than Kenny. But, Kenny is also good in PvE. And he's good in PvP. So it kind of overtakes it. Um, plus he's got the DR, he's got the freaking Flurry, man. Flurry's amazing, and he's got the boost here. His killer sucks, 40 a spot is not great. Um, though it does come in handy against Noitora, and, you know, I'm sure it'll come in handy against future enemies as well. Uh, but yeah, that's why he made it still number three. He kind of dropped a lot. I think I have two shoots up here. All right, next we have Orihime. This is going to be, I feel like Orihime, Kenny, and Ichigo, that's the ones that are going to cause the biggest controversy in the comments. Um, and I understand why. But I still I stand by my decision. I think Orihime is better than the other two. Uh, she's not a PvP character, I would say. Well, I guess you can try it, but her strong attack 2 is really only good for weakening it in that uh, in PvP, I think. Still, her attack is better than uh, Ichigo's, which is nice. SP is also better. Defense, I believe, is better. Is it better? No, its defense is not better. But, whoops. Her defense is not better. But still, it's the weakening. It's the weakening that took it. That and the fact that she has no weakness. She's got human affiliation. There are no human killers. Um, and yeah, just the frenzy weakening is just, it's insane. It is insane. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how many more characters they can make like this because I, you would think Baragon would be the only one. But then I guess a seasonal character kind of gets a pass, but still, she's she's really good. Um, yeah, and then lastly, Shunsui, just because, man, this character is amazing. It's just, 
I have to say, and I know I know um, Toshiro has a higher SP than he does, but he has a strong attack damage link, which means it's like this plus twenty percent more. So in the end, when it comes to amount of damage that can be dished out by strong attacks, which I know is kind of a very specific category, but I'd say Shunsu wins. Just because, yes, Toshiro has a higher SP, but he has the plus 20 going for him. Whereas Toshiro does have the 14 link. I think Toshiro is the best uh, PvE character. At least a better, you know, better PvE character than he is. Um, he can dish out the most damage because, you know, SP plus 20%. Also, I, I'm sorry I sound tired. I am. It's uh, 1 a.m. <laughs> um, yeah, but his defense is... I actually didn't know his defense was that high. Huh. I just learned that right now. Cool. His attack his attack's really great. Because if you take a look over here, what do I have over here? Just blue? Dang it. Let me fix that. There we go. If you take a look over here and you go attack crap. And you go SP and you take a look here at all these characters' attack. You know, you got some of these characters that it's getting up there. There was a lot of this for a while, the six twenties. You see it with Tenza or like, you know, 630s area. Tenza, Ukiura, Bargan, Ichigo. Uh, tag Team Ichigo, Full Bring Ichigo. You know, a lot of these characters have a very similar attack. And then you get to Shunsui and it's like 646. Which, you know, it's not super high, but it's like, it's, it's really good. It's like, his attack is higher than her attack. And I believe... His, but he's an SP character. She's a hybrid though, so that's kind of impressive. Um, yeah, so you can still, and his nad link and range is like, or his nad speed and range is just insane. It's super fast. But yeah, his, uh, he's got a 160, 160 uh, mag on his strong attack too. If you don't know what that means, it's 160% magnification. Most characters only have, uh, 120 on their strong attacks it some characters had a hundred percent mag on their uh on their strong attacks which is why when you hear me say oh so and so got better after the update that means that a character who did have a hundred percent mag on their strong attacks got a hundred got 120 after the update because they kind of boosted everybody who had the 100 to 120 that's why jushiro got better that's why arunero got better that's why sun sun got a lot better um but yeah when i say that that's what I mean. Um, and he has 100 and 160. That's why his strong attack 2's damage output right here is more than his strong attack 3. Yes, his strong attack 3 has a full screen, but his strong attack 2 is stronger. And uh, there are only two characters, I think, right now, where str they have a strong attack that's 160% mag, and they have frenzy. There's more characters that have 160 mag, such as, um, I believe, Ryuken has it. Full Hollow Ichigo has it, and somebody else had it. Yeah, somebody else had it. I don't remember who it was, but they had 160% mag on their strong attacks, but only Shunsui and Koga have a 160% mag and Frenzy, which, I mean, take that into consideration. That's 160 mag, right? That's 40% more, and that 40% gets doubled because of Frenzy. So that's 80% more on one strong attack that they can just use over and over again. So that's... Yeah, that's impressive. And then obviously his special, which is unique up till right now. It's the only special that has a possibility of instant killing people, which is nice, you know, against bosses and inheritance zone and all that. Um, but yeah, Shunsui right now, number one. I uh, I really need to work on mine because I have mine fully chappied because I suck at accessories. But uh, yeah, I should probably remove that at some point. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped explain why I chose the things I chose. Um, I want to thank the creator of this site. I feel like I have to... Ooh, dang, dude, what? Everybody go after this guy. No, I want to help the create. I want to thank the creator of this site for uh, creating this site, first of all. Dang, these people are insane. I can't... It's been a long time since I've done that, but yeah. Um... Thanks for the people who created the site. It really is like I have it saved. I have it opened all the time. So I just want to I want to thank them. Um, anyway, I'm going to go do some PvP before falling asleep because I am tired. Thank you guys for watching. 
I hope you understood why I did the things I did, what I had to do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next top 10. Take care.